Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, some of the new things that are coming in Camera Bag Pro 2021.0 and uh, also Camera Bag Photo, but most of this is for Camera Bag Pro. And uh, this is our first update of the new year. And let me just get right into it. The main thing that we've brought um, to both Camera Bag Photo and Camera Bag Pro is color management with color profiles. And these are implemented differently in, in both Camera Bag Photo and Camera Bag Pro. Um, let me show you first what happens in Camera Bag Pro, and then we'll talk about Camera Bag Photo. Um, if I go into Camera Bag Pro, in my preferences, now you can see that there's a default working color space for photos, and photos and videos are handled differently. So in Camera Bag Pro, if you're working in, in videos, um, those will just be in your uh, basically working in your screen color space and um, on Windows and Mac we've implemented a little bit differently but um, these color profiles only apply to photos and um, hopefully the uh, the way that we've implemented on videos it'll default to what works as you'd expect in your video editing software if not send us a message and we'll we'll work on that but anyway most of this will be for photos um, so, and I'm not going to explain exactly all the details of color profiles and how this works. This is for people basically who care about this and understand what the importance is of these. But, um, you can set your working color space, either no color management, whatever, um, profiles embedded in the loaded media, um, the profile of your display. So you're working in your display color space, sRGB, which is probably the most common one. Adobe RGB, which is popular for a lot of professional photo editing, photo editing work, and Rec. 709 is actually the sort of the default video color space. Um, but you can choose what it defaults to to work in here. Um, often I'll just keep it on uh, display, um, but uh, let's say Adobe RGB, and then. Um, this check mark is whether you want it to convert color space on load. So if I have Adobe RGB as my default working color space, but I load in a photo that's in sRGB, then this will convert on load to match up those colors as best it can into the Adobe RGB color space. So um, and that happens on load. So if you want to change something on a photo that you've already loaded, and it's different from what your defaults are, you'll see in the utility section, there's this color space tile. And as I click this, you can see now I can just switch between the color space that this photo is being interpreted in. Um, and so when I'm on like Adobe RGB versus sRGB, it's just saying, okay, these values that are embedded in this photo are as Am I considering these to be in the Adobe RGB color space, the sRGB color space, or what? And then when this color space is chosen, when I save out a photo, it will embed that color profile in the saved out photo. And so uh, this is, can be a nice way if you just want to be certain and you work often in different color spaces that you can load up this tile. And you can see as I'm changing this that it's changing in the display how it's interpreting these colors. Um, and just a note of how this works then in Camera Bag Photo. So all these options, these more advanced options, these are for Camera Bag Pro. In Camera Bag Photo, what it will basically do um, is it will stay in sRGB all the time. And so it will act as if you have, it doesn't have these options. Um, it's just defaults to sRGB and it will always convert things. And most photos that people work on, especially in non-professional situations, will be in sRGB also and uh, will be things that are viewed mostly on the web and um, uh, people will, uh, and those are most often interpreted as sRGB anyway. So this will just help uh, maintain consistency. So if you've had any troubles with camera bag where you're like, oh, my photo looked this way in camera bag, but when I put it on the web, it looked different. Uh, this will help solve those problems. And um, I'll just mention a quick few other um, of the things that we've worked on in camera bag 2021.0. Um, again, these are mostly pro focus features. So the video support on Windows is much improved. So there are some crashing errors before. 
um, and we've done that we've fixed and we've made some speed improvements both on Mac and on PC and um, hopefully you'll find the the experience of working in videos to be much smoother and better so we hope you'll enjoy this update and um, if you don't understand color profiles uh, it's a complicated subject so maybe we'll make a video later about how those work but we hope you like this and send us some feedback um, you can always go up to this help menu and click on send feedback if there's something that you think we missed or uh, need to change or improve thanks